I'll be sharing with you my own version of baked sushi. So now, una po muna natin gagawin ay ang ating vinegar mixture. So now, we need our Japanese rice wine. Pag walang Japanese rice wine, pwede natin ipalit ang apple cider vinegar. We need about 1 half cup of Japanese rice wine, 4 tablespoon of white sugar and salt. Tansya-tansya lang po sa salt dahil ang ating steamed crab meat ay medyo maalat na. So just mix everything here sa ating saucepan and let the sugar melt into our vinegar. The sugar is already melted and we can now add it to our cooked rice. Mix lang natin to make sure that every part of our rice is well incorporated with the mixture. Once properly incorporated, we now transfer it sa ating baking pan and we flatten it. This will serve as our base and we can now set it aside. Before we set it aside, let us top it with the first layer of our kake seasoning.
chopped crab stick or kani and a cold steamed crab meal. Pagsasama-samahin lang natin sila and then ilalagay na natin ang ating cream cheese. Once we're done mixing the cream cheese and the seafood, we can now add our Japanese mayo. Pero kung wala, pwede naman po yung ordinary mayo. Lagyan lang ng konting sesame oil. We can now add the seafood mixture into our sushi rice and spread it evenly and then top it again with our furikake seasoning.
top with the sriracha chili sauce depending on your tolerance. and generously top it with Japanese mayo. You can eat or serve it alone or with Norley seaweed. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye!